Graham, member of the uh, No Amnesty on Genocide and uh, post-colonial member too. So welcome to our first Herero Namibia uh, Nama, uh, Herero Nama uh, Congress in Berlin. So we welcome Honorable Mayors uh, of our Herero Paramount Chief, Vekuiru Koro, Paramount Chief of Abandero, Paramount Chief Aleta Guvauva, the Nama Traditional Authority Chief Petrus Simon Moses Cooper, um, Chief Sam Kambadembi, Honorable Ita Hoffman, member of the Namibian Parliament and chairperson of the Genocide Technical Committee, Councillor David Isaac Nama, traditional authority, distinguished speakers of the of Herero, of Bandero Genocide Committee, Ms. Esther Ushiwa Muinyangwe, uh, Mr. Festus Muunchua, Ms. Uh, Kambanda Vei, Mr. Bakuma Hengari, Mr. Waduvara Honga. Distinguished guest of NAMA Genocide Technical Committee, Mr. Sam Geisep, Mr. Petrus Johannes Dembas, NAMA Genocide Technical Committee, dear speakers of the of Herero of Ambadero Genocide in the USA, Dr. Gondi Kamatuka, Vera Katuo, Ms. Vepuka Kawari, dear Yefta uh, Guherimo from the Ovaherero of Ambandero and Nama Genocide Institute. Dear speakers of the Herero speaking community in the USA, Mr. Edwin Kaambo, Mr. Stanley Kashindi. Distinguished guests from Germany, Honorable, I think he's not present, Niema Movasat, member of the German leftist left party in parliament. Mr. Mokta Kamara, chairperson of the Central Council on of the African Community in Germany. Mr. Tahir uh, Della, Initiative of Black People in Germany. Nikolai Roshat, Africa Vineyard International. I salute all our brothers and, che and, uh, and sisters from Namibia, from all over the, uh, the world. Welcome to Germany. Let's make this Congress a um, successful one. Nobody can stop us. Uh, <clears throat> any talks without us is nonsense. <laughs> so there are so many speakers, and uh, uh, I will introduce you Mr. Christian Kopp from the um, post-colonial in Germany. He did a lot. In, in Berlin. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, dear Paramount Chiefs and Chiefs, dear guests from Namibia, the USA, Canada, the United Kingdom, South Africa, France, Sweden, and Germany. It is exactly one year ago that a small group of us sat together in a cafe very close to this place. And amongst us were our American Herero friends, Vipuka Kawarari, Jeftan Guirimo, Vera Katu, and Kavimui Murangi. Our friends had come all the way to Berlin to witness the discussions in three different parliamentary committees concerning a motion of the left party demanding that the German government would take over its full historical responsibility concerning the genocides against the Overherero and Nama people in 1904 to 1908. The motion appealed to the government to ask them for forgiveness and it proposed to invite the Overherero and Nama representatives into the ongoing negotiations between Namibia and Germany. It asked that these official talks must also address the subject of symbolic and financial 
reparations for the expropriation of and genocide against their ancestors. Our friends did not only come to experience that this motion by the left party was turned down in all three committees. What makes it even worse is that no matter how hard we try it, the state that inherited the responsibility for this genocide did not even allow them to listen, let alone to speak to these committees, though one of them was indeed the Committee of Human Rights. At the same time, they had applied at the Berliner Gesellschaft für Anthropologie, Ethnologie and Urgeschichte, who owns a gruesome collection of several thousand human remains from all over the world that Rudolf Virchow, who is the name giver of Berlin's biggest hospital just around the corner, has brought together. Their wish was to see all remains belonging to Overherero and Nama people as they could have been their direct ancestors. The answer they received was that the persons in charge would not have time to meet them and that they were not allowed to inspect them because they would not do serious scientific research on them. It was only when we informed the media and after we literally forced them to confront us when our friends were finally allowed to have a look at their Overherero and Nama ancestors who have been stored over here like shoes in small cardboard boxes. It was after this shocking experience that we came together and discussed what should be done. Our American friends came up with the great idea to bring the Overherero and Nama people living not only in Namibia but in all the world together for a transnational conference. And it was soon clear that the best place for this was Germany itself, where the Overherero and Nama genocide has systematically been ignored, covered up and denied for so many years. We activists from Berlin Postcolonial and the NGO Alliance, No Amnesty on Genocide, committed ourselves to applying for funds to provide the basic infrastructure for this Congress, but it was clear from the beginning that, as usual, we would not get any money to invite guests from Africa or America. So if today we can proudly welcome more than 52 Overherero and Nama delegates from all over the world here at our joint Congress, we should above all thank our guests themselves, as they personally invested great amounts of time and money to prepare and discuss the Congress in advance and to come over here. A second group of people without whom we would not be here today is the large number of volunteers who have helped to prepare the Congress as Mnyaka Sururumboro, Andreas Bohne, Sigi Wittig, Ginga Eichler, Mara Stirner, Felicitas Qualmann, Cibele Kojima de Paula, Momme Diederichsen, Kerti Punispecht, Anastasia Nganga and many more. I'm sure you deserve an applause from the audience too. We would also like to thank all those human rights activists and politicians who volunteered for welcome speeches and to take part in our moderate, in or moderate the different panels as Elisabeth Canesa, fellow of the UN Decade for People of African Descent, Mokta Kamara and Mayan Bale Modumbu of the Central Council of the African Community in Germany, Israel Kaunachike and Kaya De Wolf of the NGO Alliance No Amnesty on Genocide, Tahirdella, Karen Taylor, Kwesi Aikens and Sharon O'Toole from the Initiative of Black People in Germany, ESD. Hans-Christian Mahnke and Nikolai Röschert from Afrika Avenir International, as well as Adeton and Michael Köpers adebisi from Afrotag TV Cyber Nomads. I am convinced that their willingness to support this Congress testifies strongly for the moral credibility of your cause, dear friends from Namibia, which is not only an important struggle for the whole of Africa and for the black and African diaspora, but for the whole of humanity. Last but not least, we would like to thank our funding institutions, the Foundation Nord Südbrücken and the Berlin Senate for their extraordinary support. We also have to thank the Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development, Engagement Global, whose representative I would like to welcome here amongst us. Considering 
our government unwillingness to talk about this subject, we are grateful that Engagement Global was willing to support us at all. Thanks to the Rosa Luxemburg Foundation who invited Honorable Ida Hoffmann and Esther Monjangwe to Berlin. Finally, I want to thank the Centre, Centre de Français for, for their supportive attitude concerning the Congress and for their charming venue. So what are you going to expect from this day? Today we will first have a round of short welcome speeches by all the NGO and communities hosting our joint Congress. After a short break, when you can help yourself to free coffee, tea, water, soft drinks and cakes outside, we will start panel one at 4 p.m., maybe a little bit later now, where we will hear one Herero and one Nama speaker to reflect on anti-colonial anti resistance, the genocides of 1904 to 8, the long-term impact and the long struggle for restorative justice. After their speeches, the moderators Vipuka Kawari from the Association of the Over Herero Genocide in the USA and Tayedela from the Initiative of Black People in Germany will present our Congress resolution draft part one with all its articles. They will invite you to comment upon this and make additional proposals to the resolution committee made up of the attending organizations. There will be another coffee break at 5.20 and at 5.40 we will start our panel two. Therein we will get informed about the more recent developments in the present situation in Germany and Namibia with regard to the exclusion of Overherero and Nama from the genocide negotiations between the Namibian and German government. This panel too will be moderated by Edwin Kambo from the Ochi Herero speaking community in the USA and by Kaya de Wolf from Germany who will introduce to you part second of the Congress resolution. At 7 p.m. we will have one hour's break for dinner and our friend C.B. Wartenberg will have her catering ready for you, which I'm sorry to say you must pay by yourselves. At 8 p.m. we will finally have our great panel discussion with five guests moderated by Mbakumua Hengari from the Overherero Genocide Committee and Sharon Dudu Utu from the Initiative of Black People in Germany. Let me finish my speech by telling you why I find the title of our Congress, which was proposed by our American Overherero friends, so appropriate. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I had to find out for myself that restorative justice is not just a catchword or well-sounding political phrase, but an age-old judicial concept recently discovered anew. In opposition to our anonymous, often abstract law procedures, focusing on punishment by the state, it rather looks first to the specific needs of the person affected by a crime and second to the reintegration of the perpetrator into human society. The key to this process of healing a relation that was damaged by a crime is the willingness to start anew some form of communication between the victim and the perpetrator, a communication which is difficult for every side and therefore often is in need of a mediator. And the first thing this mediator has to care for and to guarantee is the right of the affected person to report extensively and without any limitations of time or any interference about what was done to her or him and what is needed to heal the wounds. As the victim's dignity, body or property was hurt and damaged, it is absolutely necessary to grant this privilege as anything else would rather aggravate his or her situation than being the first step in a healing process of restitution. It is on the other hand a necessary first step on the way of free socialization for the perpetrator to listen carefully to what he or she has done to the affected person for this is the only way for the perpetrator to develop a deeper understanding about what, was happen what has happened and what it meant to the victim. It is the precondition of any true repentance saving the victim, society and the perpetrator himself of another crime. 
This is the point where I want to come back to the American over Herrero's experience last year when they were not listened to in the German parliament. And when the Rudolf Virchow Sammlung either did not want to listen, either did not want to listen to them. It is the point to mention the German government trying to avoid direct negotiations with the over Herrero and Nama. And it is the point where it should become clear to everybody why we have invited so very few white German speakers like me and why we all feel so privileged to have so many over Herrero, Nama, African and black speakers with us today. There are only few exceptions to this and one I would like to share with you right in the beginning. It is a short statement sent by the former German minister Heidemarie Vizorek Zoll, which has always been a big step ahead of the German government when it comes to the genocide which she was first to recognize in 2004. Yesterday she wrote us to us, dear friends, it is with great sadness that I will not be able to participate in your important Congress, Restorative Justice After Genocide. I feel close to your discussions and your desire for justice after all those years, and after years in which the genocide had been denied. Your Congress is all the more important as it is indispensable that civil society engages in these questions and does not leave discussions to the governments. Only with the participation of the Herero and Nama will there be lasting understanding. I sincerely hope that finally the formal acknowledgement of the responsibility for the genocide will be delivered by the German government as well as the apology for the committed crimes and also the necessary moral and finan financial compensation. I wish your endeavors the success that you deserve so very much. With all my heart, yours, Heidemarie Vitorik Zoll. Thank you very much.